Hey guys, welcome back to part two of building our admin area. The first thing that we're gonna do in this video is add a new admin API file to store our HTTP requests. So we'll do that by going into our components API factory, create a new file called admin API. Before we go any further, we'll add these new files that we created into our index.html. So remember, we created a new CSS file. So we'll add that below. Admin, admin.css. And we also need to add our config and our controller files. Okay, so now we got our controller and our config file added. Now let's add our new admin API factory file. So we call it admin API. Save that. So in this file, we only need to create two new methods to export into our controller. So we're gonna create a function to get all the users and a function to delete an individual user. We're only going to be injecting our dollar sign HTTP. At the top, we'll return the two methods that we create, which will be get all users and delete user. We'll create a variable for our URL and we'll use the get method on our HTTP passing in our URL and we'll cache the users that we get back. The function to delete a user looks a lot like the function that we defined earlier to delete a look. We need to make sure that we use the dot underscore ID so that we're passing in the specific user from our database. And in this one, we can simply return a call to this URL, which will in turn delete the user. And we can take a look at that in our server API user. We'll look at our index. So we're going to be calling these two routes. The first route is going to call our backslash API backslash users, which will get all the users right here. And then we're also using this delete verb here at the bottom, which is going to pass in a parameter of ID, which we'll specify on our front end as the user dot underscore ID. And we'll use the controller dot destroy. So we'll take a look at that also. So we have this, which returns us back all the users. We have destroy, which is using the find by ID and remove which is a mongoose method. We pass in our user and we return a, a new list of users minus the user that we've deleted. Okay, I'll save that. And there's one more thing that needs to be added to our admin HTML. So we'll open up that file and client app admin admin HTML. I haven't added the ng click method in order to actually remove the user. So we'll add that now. So this will delete the user that we pass in on click. And now we can get to work on our admin controller. Okay, so we'll change these around. Instead of main, it's admin. Admin controller dot inject and function admin controller. And for this, I'm going to delete everything down to down to here. Okay. So I'm going to delete state. We'll be using scope auth modal. We won't be using scrape API. Instead, we'll be using admin API. We don't need the dollar sign HTTP. We'll be using alert with our modal. 
and we will be using the looks API to get all our looks and we won't need the upload. Let's open up our my looks controller because we'll be transferring over some of the components. We're reusing this alert and this model so you could actually refactor these into the, its own service so that you're not calling these over and over in different files. And actually before we do that at the top of this file let's declare some variables that we'll be using throughout this file. So we'll be using scope.looks we'll set that to an array. Scope.users will also be an array. Scope.individualUser will be an object. Scope.editLook will also be an object. Okay, now I'm going to transfer in our success and fail alerts as well as the modal. So I can just transfer these over. So we're only going to be using the success and fail alerts for our look. I haven't defined or we're not using any alerts for or modals for that matter for when deleting a user. So when we delete a user, it's just going to we're going to click the button and then the user will disappear. We'll also have a little tooltip on top and I'll show you that now. So this data title will pop up when hovering above the button saying delete user cannot be undone. Okay, we can pretty much transfer over our edit, delete, and save look because it's using the same functionality. So that should be available in my, my looks controller. So we'll have edit, save, and delete. So I'll be using the same edit, save, and delete functions in our admin controller as we did in our MyLux controller. Okay, so we have our scope.delete, which will delete the look. And this is going to be in our modal. So if we look in our admin remove look modal so this will pop up when we click on a look we'll have the option of editing the look and deleting the look so you can see delete look is the same as actually it looks like we need to change this so I'll change this to scope dot delete look so now that will work so delete look save look which will call looks API dot update. All right, so see we're calling save look right at the bottom here. Okay. Okay, now we've transferred over everything that we need from the my looks controller, so we can close that. Okay, so right below our show model, I'm going to add the two methods to get all of the users and to get all of the looks. So we'll be using our admin API. We'll you be using the get all users method. And then after getting all the looks, we'll pass in a then. I'm going to set scope.users to data.data. .data. And then we'll also attach a catch method just in case we get an error. Then we'll set our scope out looks to data dot data. Okay, and that should be it. Now we should be able to get all the users, get all the looks, edit to look, save a look, delete a look, uh, and then we also need to create our scope dot delete user functionality. Well, the scope dot delete user.
So in our scope delete user, we're going to call our admin API delete user and we're going to pass in the user, which is going to grab the user dot underscore ID that we defined over here. Okay, we'll just log the fact that the user's been deleted and we'll use the same kind of logic that we used below to get rid of the user that we deleted. So we'll just splice off that user. And we'll do a catch in case there's an error. Okay, now with that saved, I should be able to navigate to my admin link and everything should work. So we'll start up my server. Okay. And I'm using me5 as my admin. If I go over to my admin area, it's not working. So it's saying that there is a colon over here. So this should be an equal. So let's see if I save that. All right, good, looks like it's working. Okay, so now I get all the users. If I hover over the delete, I get the tooltip. If I click on any one of these links, who do I want to delete? I guess her. Looks like I'm missing the delete button. Let's check if I can delete a user. So it's giving me all the users here. I'll delete four. Okay, look, and it gets spliced off. And I get the delete user call. So it looks like I had an ng show for my delete button. So I could fix this by either setting delete button to true or just removing it. So let's see what happens if I just set delete button to true. So I'll set this to true and save my file and now it should show up. If I go over to my admin page, okay, now I get this big delete look button. And it's not working. Okay, and the reason why it wasn't working was because I had scope.userlooks here as well as down here. So we need to change this to scope.looks and scope.looks. So once you've done that and you click on any one of these images and we click delete look and we'll see it gets spliced off and we'll get the success look deleted message.